there's friction at the meadow's care. Owner Ian Somaru can't understand why carers are refusing to have what he sees as a miracle vaccine. He's got 22 residents and all but one have had the COVID jab, but of his 24 staff, half have turned it down. They're being quite selfish because they don't understand that they're putting people's lives at risk. They come in here uh, on the understanding that they care for the elderly and they have a passion to look after them, and I would bring that into question. So why are you still employing them? I made it mandatory and compulsory on the terms of conditions of employment, but I only did this for newcomers who are coming in here. I can't do it for the ones who were employed before coronavirus came on the scene. 94-year-old resident Irene Clark couldn't wait to get her vaccine and is furious with some of the staff. Not all the staff must be done yet. And I thought they had, but I find out they haven't. And they put it us all at risk. So do you feel angry? Yes, very angry that they can be so relaxed about it all. And it isn't a relaxed virus, it's a deadly virus. These are some of the reasons staff gave for not having the vaccine. There's no evidence to substantiate any of their claims. This virus doesn't exist. It's scaremongering from the government. I'm a 37-year-old who plans to have children and I'm not going to jeopardise my chances. I believe it's meant to restrict my freedom as an individual. There is not enough data to prove its safety. One member of staff who has had the vaccine told us others were waiting to see how she reacted to it. If they want to take the vaccine, they can, but I think someone is trying to, you know, see how does it react, and they are watching us. But there's growing concern. What's happening inside this West London care home is being reflected nationally. It is an, a major hurdle for us to get over this because we know that vaccination is, is a key that will assist us to mitigate the risks out there for our service users and for our staff. Nearly 40% of care homes haven't yet received the vaccine. What we don't yet know is whether it effectively stops transmission of the virus. If it does, there will be even more questions about who is allowed to work amongst people so vulnerable to the killer disease. Lisa Holland, Sky News, West London.